Top three crypto exchanges I trust for now in 2022. As most of you know, there's been a lot of drama behind the scenes with a lot of the smaller cryptocurrency exchanges offering passive income by holding your crypto on their exchange. And with the 2022 crypto bear market, you have to be very, very careful where you keep your funds if you're gonna be using a centralized exchange. Cause guess what? Not your keys, not your coins. And if an exchange goes down or becomes under investigation and they have to freeze funds, you are not entitled to get your funds back. These exchanges are not FDIC insured. However, if you are an active trader and you understand the risks of keeping your cryptocurrency on a centralized exchange, then I think there's no problem with keeping small amounts there. I do that. Also, if you are brand new to crypto, you might want to consider keeping your exchanges on these three reputable exchanges until you understand what cold storage is and how to use it. Exchange one, tried and true, Coinbase. One of the reasons why is Coinbase has been around for one of the longest and they are tried and true. I also think that they have a lot of pull as to what's happening in Washington. But again, there is still a chance that this cryptocurrency exchange can go under. And yes, they do have a lot of issues with their customer service. So please keep that in mind. Exchange number two, FTX US. They are working very closely with regulators to ensure cryptocurrency positive legislation. To me, this means that they will be around for quite some time. Also, they are partnered with Circle. And if you follow the money, BlackRock was an investor with Circle. Hmm. Circle, part of USDC. And I do think that USDC will be the CBDC of the United States. That's for another story. But either way, we're seeing FTX do a lot of work with regulators to kind of push really good crypto legislature through. And I don't think that they will be impacted terribly by any crypto laws passing through. I think that they're working behind the scenes to make sure that doesn't happen. Again, same risk, not your keys, not your coins if you leave it on the exchange. And last but not least, Gemini. I love Gemini. I've been using Gemini for quite some time. With Gemini, they're also working with regulators and some of the folks that back them, the Winklevoss twins, um, they're very, very well known in the tech industry. I also do not think anything is going to happen with Gemini. But again, at the same time, when you leave your cryptocurrency on exchanges, not your keys, not your coins. And as far as a lot of the other smaller crypto exchanges, Voyager, Binance US, Celsius, KuCoin, Bittrex, whatever it is. The only cryptocurrency I'm leaving on those exchanges is for active trading. I want to see what happens with regulation because we all know that regulation is coming with this whole Terra Luna thing. And so that's why I'm being a little bit more cautious what percentage of my crypto I keep on exchanges. Yes, I've moved a lot of my crypto from smaller exchanges to cold storage, but I also do need to keep crypto on deck for trading, swing trading, investing, and also to, to do some of my business stuff, which that gets a little bit complicated. The two exchanges that offer um, business support for your EIN or your business identification number that I know of, Kraken, which I don't use it, was never able to open an account there for some reason, Coinbase, Gemini, and Celsius. I will be using all my business stuff over to Gemini and I have to work on creating an account there. Again, I still do use crypto.com for a lot of my smaller stuff, some of my flips to use the card, etc. Plus I get a lot of rewards there. But at the same time, I only keep my crypto there that I'm willing to lose. And if you guys need help to probably secure and store your crypto, Wendy's white paper, which is free, storing Bitcoin and crypto. Read it, it will help you a lot. I'll also put the link in the description. Good luck.